This is a video on the very popular Align tool. Or not, but I think most people just don't know how to use it and that's why they don't use it. So I thought I'd explain it. I have these circles here. I made them already on separate layers, like here. Every circle has its own layer. And I'm gonna align them so they will all be on in, a, in a horizontal row. And before I start, I have to tell you that um, these circles uh, were auto-cropped. The layer, auto-crop layer. So that the boundaries of the layer, I'm gonna show them now, are see uh what like this these are the layer boundaries so all the layers are exactly the same size this is important if you want to line them up so i'm gonna start now and i'm gonna start these up i'm gonna align these all horizontally and um, look here in your two options i've already selected the align tool and i'm gonna align them to the first item and it's this one. And then when you need to align them, you need to uh, press shift and hold and then click on all the other circles. And then all you need to do is look at these arrows and align middle of target is the one you need. And there you go. They are all aligned in one line. But uh, as you can see, there's still some room here and less here and even less here and more here so we want the room between the circles to be equally the same and for this we need distribute down here and if i click to distribute them horizontal uh, like this they will all be on top of each other and that's not what I want I want them to be in a row so then I have to look at the offset and I'm gonna put it to 100 and then click this one again and as you can see now it's all aligned and the space in between all the circles is exactly the same so that is how you use the align tool and there's another way and I'm gonna show you that in two seconds okay I'm back I forgot to uh, I paused the video a bit because I forgot to set up the second part of how you can use the Align tool. And I did this uh, while I paused the video. And this is a new image. And in this image are two layers. And the top layer is just as big as the bottom layer. But as you can see, it's moved out of the way. Now you can try to use the Move tool to get it all back and correct. But that's often very fiddly and you can also use the align tool I'm going, back, going back to the align tool and then pick relative to image because you want to align this with the image this layer and for some reason oh yes and then of course I have to pick this layer make sure this is active and click on it and then I'm going to align it to the left and to the top and now it's perfectly aligned with the image so that's the second thing you can do is with, do with the align tool and i'm sure there are more things but this is the principle of the align tool and you can uh, align it to a selection an active layer active path so well you figure it out while you play with it but these are some things you that you can do with the align tool so um if you like my videos, please subscribe. And if you want to know more about the perspective clone tool, that will be in one of my next videos. So then you really should subscribe because then you will be notified when the perspective clone tool tutorial will be out.